You've probably heard me mention this before, but I've never made a video about it and uh, figured it was about time. How do you double check or sometimes triple check your stair stringer layout um, at the ledger where it will connect to the landing or to a floor? And as you can see here, I have the tape measure and I simply hooked the tape over the end of the last riser and the back of the ledger or where the stair stringer is going to connect to the ledger. And you can clearly see I have my tape measure out. I am double checking it and I will even check it one more time before I cut the stringer. This is how important this is. Every measurement on your stringer needs to be checked again. And like I said, I will check it sometimes three times um, to make sure that I'm ready. Everything is a go before I make my first cut. Let me show you what I'm talking about, give you a better idea of what in the heck's going on. I mean, sometimes, sometimes I understand what I'm talking about, but everybody else doesn't. So here's a second picture. The arrows are pointing to the face of the landing on the right and the last riser on the left. And this measurement will need to be the exact same measurement as the rest of your stair treads that you are using for your stair stringer. In this case, it is 10 inches. So the next, uh, each one of our stair treads on the stringers will be 10 inches. In order to arrive at that same measurement, we will need to have the last step um, where the arrows are. Uh, it should have the same measurement. Like I said, in this case, it'd be 10 inches. We have eight and a half inches at the top of the stringer, plus an additional inch and a half for the ledger giving us a 10 inch measurement. Last but not least, let's make sure that the measurement here, the measurement on the stringer that uh, is going to attach to the ledger is actually going to be supported by a ledger that is the correct size. I can't tell you how many times I come across a stairway that has, uh, for example, an 11 and a half inch measurement in this area. And there's a two by 10 uh, or a nine and a half inch um, ledger. And again, I'm not about to suggest these stairways are going to fall down. That is not what I'm suggesting, but there is a chance. And uh, again, this is what we need to eliminate. It's your job as a stair builder to build the perfect stairway, a stairway that um, has as many of the possible problems eliminated from it as possible. And again, this is why we double check and sometimes triple check our measurements to make sure that we do eliminate the possibilities of any errors.